Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. Uh, today we're gonna switch out something simple but it's also dangerous. Uh, we have a 220 plug here, but in order for us to use uh, this plug, we're gonna have to switch it out to this. The wiring should be the same. It shouldn't be any different than this wiring, but the plug fitment is different. So this doesn't fit in here, this fits in here. So we're gonna take this out and put this back in. And the first thing we gotta do is make sure this is, hold on, let me double check my tester. You can see these are live. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn off the power, then get to it. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna turn off the fuse from the fuse from your breaker box. So you're gonna turn it off so we could cut out the power to the plug. This one is labeled dryer, easy, 30 amp. Um, after we turn off the fuse, the first thing we're gonna check, we wanna make sure there's no feed in here, right? So there's no feed in here. And just to double check the tester, we're gonna come up here, the tester's functioning. So we're gonna go back here, there's no power. Just wanna make sure we're not gonna die while changing this. All right guys, so I just took the uh, uh, screws out and what you want to do when you pull this out it should have some play when these wires are very hard remember safety first we're gonna double check make sure there's no there's no live wire so there's no live wire here which is great that's what we want and we're gonna double test this thing's working now we want to make sure the live wires go exactly where they need to go. And it doesn't matter left or right, as long as it goes into the right, correct place. Okay, if you can see here, there's two gold. The gold are the live wires. So it's going to be the black line and the red line going into here. This is the ground line and this is the neutral line. It's very self-explanatory. It's not that difficult to understand how this works. This is a 220, so 110, 110, neutral ground. That's exactly how it works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure these lines are loose. And if you can see on the bottom, that's, how, that's where you feed the lines. I'm gonna open these out a little bit, make them loose. And the ground, make it, make it loose. All right, now we're gonna unscrew this. We're gonna take the black out. Let's connect the ground. Disconnect the red, and then disconnect the neutral. So this is out, out with the old, in with the new. That's the model for New Year, right, guys? All right. So now we're gonna rewire this, rewire this back up. So I'm gonna start with the neutral. goes in here and guys one thing you want to make sure you want to tug on this a little bit make sure you get a good tight squeeze on the wire because you don't want any of this to come out right any other any loose wire is going to cause an arc and if it's arc being created these will melt they'll heat up they'll melt they'll cause fire so this is a 100 percent fire hazard situation if your wires are very very loose so make sure your wires are tight and now you're gonna feed the rest in here. And these wires are very, these are high, high gauge wires, so they're gonna, it's very tough to work with. That's what I'm saying, make sure you, you make it very tight, so, cause you're gonna have to play with these and try to squeeze these in here. Uh, 
All right. So you're gonna tug on it. Once everything's set, look, gotta put some effort into it. Need to open this up a little. So, everything's in. You want to make sure everything's clear off of one another. You want to make sure the live lines are not touching any of the ground, you know, the uncovered portion, right? So next thing, you're going to squeeze this in into the place. You're going to get two screws. We're going to do the bottom first. And then we're gonna do the top. Like the crisscross. And we're gonna do the top. All right, before I put the cover on, here, I'm gonna show you guys this. Before I put the cover on, we're gonna flip the fuse on to make sure we got power coming in. So once the switch is on, we're gonna keep our distance just in case if this thing blows up, I'm away from it. And look, we have power here, and we're gonna check here if there's power. Mm -hmm. Flip it on. Okay, there's power there, there's power there. The groove's a little too deep, so this is not gonna fit in, but but look, when I put it in here, when I put it on here, we got power, works great. And now, we're gonna, we're gonna test it with the, um, the dryer. So we're gonna plug it in. Let's see if this thing comes on. And look, we have power. Perfect. So we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna flip the switch back off on the fuse box. We're gonna cover it back on and we'll be all set. All right guys, so this concludes switching out the plug from the old plug to the new one. This whole thing took about five minutes. Um, now, if you're not comfortable playing with it or like uh, fixing these kind of stuff, please consult a professional to do this for you. This is just a, a simple demonstration of how easy this can be done, but be very careful. Uh, high voltage electricity is very flammable as well. It could cause death. So be very, very cautious when you do this. Make sure the power is turned off. Make sure you have the proper device, something like a tester like this. I will link uh, a description to a tester down below uh, for you to grab one of these testers to see if there's any power or anything like that. So, um, but the importance of getting the correct part is also uh, the main thing. Um, now, in this case, this is a 220, this is a 220, it just, the plugs are different because each appliance, each uh, um, tool or whatever uses a different 220 product, 220 plug. Like this is a 220 plug, but this is also a different plug. So now you can see we got three different plugs here. We got one, three prong, four prong, and four prong, but this four prong also locks. So this is what I mean. You got four, uh, three different ways of having a 220. There's also smaller ones that are 220 that are about this size. So 
Uh, with that being said, guys, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And make sure you have a battle buddy just in case. If you yeah, yeah. Make sure, sure you have somebody that pulls you away. If it gets shocked, you got somebody to pull you away. But you disconnect. Make sure your fuse is disconnected. Make sure your breaker box is turned off. And this is why this tool is very important. This is a very uh, simple tool. It's not very complicated, but it is definitely, definitely helpful when you're doing work with electricity. So until the next time, peace out.